J.D. Young got killed for something that had nothing to do with him. I, d I don't want to say too much online. Of course. But it ain't had nothing to do with him. You would think all that, all that stuff, uh, all that stuff would have, you know, caught up to him. But nah, it, it had nothing to do with him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Me. We'll get back to J.D. Young and man, because like I said, he was he 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 was, he when that happened. Putting in Bogalusa. The family of the victim, Devoria Scott, known as Jay the Youngin. It was weird to me how it happened. When rappers, uh, they seem to battle with each other or whatever, and you, you have the side that's followers of Jay the Youngin, the sides that are against them. The night that I, the time I found out about mm -hmm. it, like, where, you, you being so closely knitted to him, kind of how, how did, when you, when you heard about it, that he had gotten killed, because he hit the internet fast. Mm -hmm. um, I, I tried to hit him up. Uh, I just said, "Tell me you're okay." And she, it, the message never even delivered. It never delivered. Uh -uh. No, nope. my partner had called me. <coughs> Wayne had called me and said, "Uh, man, check on JD Young. I heard he just got killed behind my sister's house." How and far is that from you? Where you at? Hattiesburg, like yeah. 35, 40 minutes away. Okay, something like that. Uh. And, and so I called him, and he answered, so I just texted him. But I, w we've had people tell us that before, like, man, J.D. Young just got killed. And I called him, be like, man, let me listen to that shit. And I was hoping it was another situation like that. But was he just in the streets that that much? J.D. Young got killed for something that had nothing to do with him. I, d I don't want to say too much online. Of course. But it ain't had nothing to do with him. You would think all that, all that stuff, uh, all that stuff would have, you know, caught up to him, but nah, it, ha it had nothing to do with him. The reason why Jay, they basically killed J.D. Young because he was the head of the ship, head of the snake. They said if you, if you kill, cut the head off, the body die. That's basically what it was all for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, it, you, but you, being that you, because I talked to uh, DJ Chose, and DJ Chose, uh, he produced for Fredo Baines, and he say a lot of times, he he said it was it was it it yeah it was dangerous being in the studio doing the stuff with him. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever feel that way when you was dealing with Jada Young? Until I built my new facility, yeah. You felt that way. I mean, not not really, not not like something gonna happen because uh, you know I always keep my studio pretty secure, but I, I understood it could you know it could be a. a Crazy situation happening any time. One time I was doing a show in my city and I, I had booked JD Young and um, I think I think it was Ace too. I forgot. But anyway, they kept calling me all day talking about twenty thousand dollars of us. It ain't gonna be no show or something like that. Like we finna pull up over there to that studio because I know he over there. Ain't nobody ever pull up though. We so that was just pump faking. I'm plugged in with some with some pretty good people down there. So like, you know. so. The thing you gotta understand is, you guys. How long did you would you say you and him work together from start to finish? Two thousand sixteen, seventeen to two thousand twenty two. Yeah, wow. His whole career. So, I, when I met him, he had two thousand followers. Yeah, yeah. You said that, and and it's like that was. Do you? And I don't want to see, but do you think you'll ever deal with anybody that scale like that? No money, no money keep piling. A move like that ever again in your career? So many problems ain't got many options. If it I don't know, cause it was it was unheard of what was going on with JD Young. Like he took off like a wildfire. Like it was crazy, bro. Like I remember I didn't even know he had blown. Like somebody had to come tell me that. Like I had I had let one of my partners ride with me down to Bogalusa to go pick up some money that he owed me. JD Young owed me for some recording. And we got back, I guess a couple of weeks ago. I mean, a couple of weeks later, he made a post and it was like, I just realized that was JD Young in the truck with me and Heartbeats when I rode with him to go pick up some, or rode with him to Vogue or whatever. And I'm like, I'm reading the post, like, okay. It's just another guy recording my studio. Why are you saying that? Man, that boy said, boy, you don't know, boy, JD Young is lit. Boy, he went pulling out the, what you call it, showing me all the numbers. Like, mm -hmm. it's, 
It's dope. So at first, I wasn't even making his beats. I'm just recording all his music and mixing it. I wanted to start seeing these numbers. I'm going to practice on these nigga beats for a little while. You feel me? Yeah. So a year later, I showed him a beat, finally. And he rapped on it. And that was the song I was telling you. Uh, the Mud, Mud Brothers. Mud. Uh, yeah, you know, he came out, put it on World Star, hit 4.4 million views. That was the first time I ever hit that many views. views. Yeah. yeah, so um, JD Young was different, bro. Like he he might have did a lot of stuff, but his passion for music was unmatched, bro. Like he would have stayed in the studio all the time if if I could just work 24 hours, seven days a week, he wouldn't even left. He wouldn't even left. No, after I after I showed him that beat. His his albums prior to that, I didn't have no beats on. <clears throat> his next album after that, I had fourteen beats on the. I had mm. got five of my heroes producers on the, and nine of my own beats on the. That was Forever Twenty Three, which is his biggest album to to date right now. Wow, you know and every album after that, I'd be having like ten beats on the, twelve beats. Like, Every album after that, even the one he just dropped. <clears throat> it's crazy the stories they tell. Like, like Double A said the same thing when he dealt with NBA Young Boy or, or mm -hmm. Kodak Black and how they scale. Like, um, it's crazy how, you know what I mean? Yeah, how crazy. quick you can't, you don't know. It's like you just said, like a fire. Just yep. take out, you ain't nothing you can do, but just try to figure out how to get in that room. He first signed with Cinematic. We go out to LA. I'm getting Ubers, asking people to do it, because I think Elimination had just went go one of them songs or Interstate. She like, baby, where you at? I told her I'm on the Interstate, was like the other day. So I'm asking people, do they know J.D. Young? Blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I produce with J.D. Young. I'm thinking they know him because he hot as firecracker down, down In the, the south. south. Yeah. They don't, they know, don't him. know him. I, I agree. I believe that. We come back a year later. A year later. Nobody that I asked didn't know him. Nobody. Like, not one person. Oh, yeah, something. I know him. Even if they don't know him by name, as soon as I pull up and show them this, song. this guy, the, the hair. Oh, the hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know him. He got 23 islands home. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. crazy. But when a, um, okay, so when a rapper um, finds a producer that they love to work with, um, they usually just stick with that person. Jay did. But then, okay, but with a producer, do y'all normally just, because most producers have a certain sound. Like sometimes some some people can listen to a song, not even know who produced it, whatever, and be like, oh, that's just such. Because it's like they have a certain style. Even if you didn't hear the tag. <coughs> they definitely do that with mine. They have a certain mm -hmm. style. Yeah. But then if a certain rapper sticks with a producer too long, I mean, they only oh, have that certain style nah, and not switch it up. I was a little smarter than that. I went and signed Heroes mm -hmm. that I knew made other sounds that J.D. Young. Got like, other okay. beat makers in there. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, if he come, I might show him all my beats. He might not be feeling them. Right. But I, I put, I got some of my heroes beats in the mix, too. You see what I'm saying? And he'll, he'll choose one of them or whatever. You know, That's what you're the all, style. All mm -hmm. of my producers got placements on J.D. Young Project. Every one of them. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see